Is this all over? Are we done making money or you see another great opportunity to make some additional money? You look at these guys and tell me what you see. I turned $1,000 into $300,000 trading cryptocurrencies and since then I've used this amount to trade full time and make living 100% off of my income from trading. One of the things that allow me to trade successfully is understanding how to read candlesticks what we're gonna do today is that i will do my best to transfer my knowledge to you guys so hopefully you can make money trading crypto as well let's jump straight into the action i want you guys to think of candlesticks as stories from a book every candlestick tells you a story of what happened in the market during that specific time period now what is important for you guys to understand is that just like when you read a book let's take this book as an example think and grow rich this book is about personal development i've read this book a while ago and it's very good but let me tell you this it's not every single story from that book that gave me insights and made my life better right it's probably two or three stories but i cannot just open the book randomly somewhere read two stories and think that my life will change right i have to read the whole book in order to find these two or three stories and the same thing guys is with the candlesticks it's not gonna be every single candlestick that will make you a lot of money right it will be just a few but in order for you to find this few you have to look at the whole chart now let's talk about how candlesticks are formed a candlestick has two parts body and wicks there might be a wick at the top of the candle and the wick at the bottom of the candle right so the body of the candle represents the opening and the closing prices and when the candle is green it means that the open price is lower than the closing price trading started right here then buyers pushed the price all the way right here that's where the trading ended right during this specific candlestick and that's why it's green the red candlestick tells you exactly the opposite that's where the price opened then the sellers push the price all the way down and that's where the price closed right so that's why the candle is red now the wicks the wicks basically show the low and the high point during this specific time period the lower week below the candle shows the low the higher week above the candle shows the high it's the same for green and red candles okay guys now it's time for some practice right all you need is a piece of paper and a pen you can pause this video right now get a piece of paper and a pen okay guys now we're gonna start the practice we're gonna do a little bit of drawing and i'm gonna show you now with the first candle and then after that i will ask you to do that before me okay so what we're gonna draw is an illustration to point out what happened during this specific candlestick just by looking at the candlestick so you guys already know that this is the open this is the close because the candle is green right you also know that this is the low this is the high right so let's start with a picture of what happened so since this is the open right of the candle that's where things started so the price opened right here then the sellers push the price down right that's how this week was created the sellers pushed the price down all the way to this level right here then the buyer stepped in and then it pushed the price all the way up right to this high right here then the sellers came in again and they pushed the price down to this candle close right here okay so now since you know what happened during this specific time period i want you to tell me who do you think was stronger right the buyers or the sellers you know where the price opened you know where the price closed you know exactly what happened during this time period think about who is stronger the buyers or the sellers because that's the most important thing when it comes to trading guys you want to be able to identify if the buyers or the sellers are stronger at any given time because that's how you make money right in trading if you want to make money you have to be able to do exactly that because when you identify which side is stronger when you identify that the buyers are stronger well guess what this means it's means that the price will continue to go up so you just have to buy rise this thing up sell it and that's how you make profit if you identify that the sellers are stronger then you go short because you anticipate that the price will go down and that's how you make money that's how you succeed in trading it's as simple as that now back to the question who was stronger during this specific time period the buyers or the sellers bulls or bears 
bulls are the buyers if you are not familiar with these terms and bears are the sellers who's stronger the bulls the buyers were stronger during this specific time period guys okay now it's your turn get your pen and draw exactly what happened during this specific time period pause the video look at the candle draw what happened and then play the video and i'm gonna show you guys what happened and you're gonna compare and figure out if you did it right or wrong okay so here is what happened first of all you have to identify where is the open and where is the close since the candle is red you guys already know that the close is below the open so right here is the open right here is the close this is the high this is the low okay so let's draw now what happened everything started from here everything started from the open guys so price open right here then the buyers try to push the price and they actually succeeded to push it all the way to the high right here then the sellers step in they push the price all the way down to this low right here then the buyers came in and they pushed the price right here to the close and that's where this whole thing ended now you can compare this to what you already draw in order to figure out if you did it right after you do that let me ask you the same question from earlier who do you think was stronger during this specific time period the sellers or the buyers the bears or the bulls what do you think this is the answer i hope you got it right the bears the sellers were stronger during this specific time period simply because price opened here and it closed lower right so the sellers were stronger they managed to push the price down okay now we're gonna switch gears and i'm gonna give you a little bit of a harder candlestick right so pause this video and draw what happened during this specific time period during specific candlestick okay let's now see together what happened first of all since the candlestick is red you know that this is the open this is the close there is no weak to the downside as you can see which means that the low during this specific candlestick it's equal to the close but we have a weak right here and this shows us the high right so let's now draw what happened well everything started from the open then the buyer stepped in and they pushed the price all the way here and at that moment in time the candlestick was green and it looked very very good so the buyers thought that they were very very strong and then they will continue to push the price higher however this whole thing was a trap right this was a trap to trap the buyers the seller stepped in and they managed to push the price all the way down to this close and low of the day where everything ended so this whole move towards the upside this was a, a trap the sellers tried to trap as many buyers as possible and then they show who really is the boss by pushing the price all the way down here and leaving you know without a week right they close exactly to the low of the candle which is a sign of power now compare this to what you draw in your notebook in order to figure out if you did it correctly and let me ask you the same question who do you think was stronger the bulls the buyers or the sellers the bears right i hope this is obvious to you the sellers were a lot stronger now moving to our next one pause the video and draw what happened during this specific candlestick okay here is what happened you guys already know that when the candlestick is green the close is above the open so this is the open this is the close so this is where everything started this is where everything ended now as you can see we don't have a wick which means that the high of the day was equivalent to the close right and that's a sign of power as you already know now let's draw exactly what happened everything started from here then the sellers pushed the price all the way down right at this moment in time when they were right here the candlestick was red and it looked like the sellers are so strong they were not really facing much of a resistance however this was again a trap the buyers now stepped in and they showed who's really in charge they pushed the price all the way to the high right here and that's where it closed i hope you guys got this right and now the question is who was stronger during this specific candlestick the buyers or the sellers well of course the buyers were stronger now moving to the next one you guys pause the video again and do this practice i really want you to do this as many times as possible in order to understand truly what's happening behind every candlestick as you guys can see i don't teach you the name of these candlesticks right i'm not asking you to memorize oh this is inverted hammer oh this is doji oh this is gravestone doji blah 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 that doesn't make sense that's exactly what other people do but it just doesn't work right because memorizing some names just like in school it's not gonna 
gonna help you at all, right? I want you guys to understand exactly what happened behind every candlestick. What is the story that every candlestick is telling you? Who's stronger, the buyers or the sellers? That's the only thing we care about, right? That's how we make money in this game. That's how you think as a professional trader. Now pause this video and draw exactly what happened during this candlestick. Okay, now let's do it together. You guys again know that when the candlestick is green, this is the open, this is the close and we don't have week at the bottom we just have a week right here so this is the high of the day and now let's draw exactly what happened everything started right here the buyers pushed the price all the way to the high during this specific candle right and they thought they are so strong they thought that everything will continue to go their way but the sellers step in and they said uh -uh, no 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 not now guys this was a trap again let me show you who's in charge and they push the price all the way down to this level right here where the price close now you guys tell me who was stronger during this specific time the bulls or the bears the buyers or the sellers well the sellers were stronger doesn't matter that the candlestick is green guys you see the buyers pushed the price all the way here but they failed miserably they got rejected and they didn't manage to close near the top right actually the sellers pulled the price all the way down to this level close to where the candle opened so it doesn't matter there is green the sellers were still stronger during this time you see that this move was not sustainable the buyers couldn't sustain it at all the sellers managed to push the price all the way down to close to where it opens so it doesn't matter that the color is green guys the sellers were still stronger okay moving to the next one pause this video now and draw what happened during this specific candlestick now let's do it together here is what happened this is the open this is the close there is no week on top so the high is equal to the open and there is week at the bottom so this is where the lowest point was during this specific candlestick now let's draw what happened so everything started right here at the open the sellers pushed the price all the way down right and at this moment in time it looked like everything is going in their favor right it looked like they are much stronger but then the buyer stepped in at that point and they push the price all the way back to this level where it closed so now the question guys is who was stronger the buyers or the sellers that's all we care about that's how we make money well the buyers were stronger during a specific time period again doesn't matter that the candlestick is red because as you guys can see this was a trap right the sellers pushed the price all the way down and they thought they are strong but then when the buyer stepped in it became obvious who's stronger they retrace all this bearish move right almost to where it started now the next one pause this video again and draw what happened during a specific candlestick okay so here is what happened open right here close right here high and low so everything started at this level right here then the buyers pushed the price all the way to the high right here the sellers then stepped in and pushed the price all the way down then the buyer stepped and pushed the price all the way to close to where it started right so that's exactly what happened during this candlestick and let me ask you this who was stronger the buyers or the sellers look at what happened again right look at what happened again starting here going up a little bit going down going up a little bit so close to where it all started so who do you think was stronger when you look at this well the answer is no one right this is more of a neutral candlestick because nothing really happened even though it's red right it's still neutral slightly in the favor of the sellers but more neutral right because nothing really happened during this time this whole fight between buyers and sellers ended up where it started <laughs> right close to where it started i should say so that's why when you see such a candlestick it's more more of a neutral than anything else now pause the video guys and tell me what happened during this candlestick okay so this is probably the easiest right i saved the easiest one for the end guys because i know that you're probably gonna be bored at that point what happened here is very simple open close let me show you what happened guys that's exactly what happened everything started right here the sellers dumped the price and it closed right here and as you guys already know when there are no weeks that's a sign of strength so meaning that you can easily identify who's in charge right and the sellers were in charge that's kind of obvious now this is the opposite scenario when the candlestick is green open close and that's exactly what happened and it should be pretty obvious who was in charge during this time the buyers were in charge okay guys so by now with this exercise that we did you should be able to read each and every 
every candlestick regardless of the way it looks right without knowing the names of all these candlesticks you should be able to identify what happened and who is stronger just by looking at the candlestick now going back to the metaphor that i gave you in the very beginning it's not every single candlestick that will make you a lot of money right that will help you make great trades and make a lot of money but you have to be able to understand every candlestick in order to find these two three five candlesticks that will make you a lot of money so that's exactly what we're gonna do now guys i got your back i'm gonna give you a complete strategy right now so let's look at this chart there are 60 candlesticks here guys and i want you to do the following pause this video look at this chart for like 10 30 50 seconds a minute take your time right and try to figure out out of these 60 candles which one is the most important and i'm gonna give you a hint guys we not only have a candlestick chart right here we also have two lines one line is a monthly support horizontal support this is the blue line the red line is a dynamic support which is the 200 simple moving average and if you are not familiar with horizontal support and resistance or dynamic support and resistance don't worry at all because in the other videos i'm gonna explain you all of that right right now you should only know that what support means is that there will be people who will be buying and defending this level when price goes close to this level there will be people who will place a lot of buy orders that's when the line is a support when the line is a resistance it's gonna be the opposite there will be plenty of people who will be selling there defending this resistance so there will be a lot of pressure from the sellers right this is a little bit of a hint for you guys now pause this video and try to identify which one of these 60 candlesticks we care most about okay i hope you got this right this candlestick right here is the one that we care mostly about why well guys first of all you already understand the story that this candlestick tells you everything started right here at the top of the candle right this is the opening price then the sellers push the price all the way down to the bottom of the week and they thought they are strong right but this ended up being a trap the buyers push the price all the way up right and it closed right here so you guys already know that this is trap you already know that this happened at a very important level right we have here a horizontal support and we have a dynamic support so you know that there are plenty of people who are buying here right and this candlestick also showed you that the buyers trap the sellers right and they are a lot stronger so all you have to do guys now is to place a trade after this candlestick is over so at the, on the next candlestick right here on this one you just have to place your trade you buy right here you place your stop loss below the low of this previous candlestick that we are mostly interested in and you place your take profit at the next resistance level and this right here is the resistance you see price went all the way here and that's where it reversed so this is a strong resistance right here and you can place your take profit here what i'm showing you now guys is a complete trading strategy right so it's important for you guys to pay attention to that. now let's see what happened that's exactly what happened right in three candles the price hit your take profit target and you made some money that's the power of understanding candlestick guys i want to give you plenty of examples guys so you really get this because this is like a money printer right it's like an atm that's how easy it is once you get it okay so we have 30 candlesticks here guys and i want you again to identify which is the one that we care most about right and again i'm gonna give you a hint we have here this rent horizontal line which is the weekly support weekly horizontal support and we have this 200 simple moving average which is a dynamic resistance why it's a resistance well because it's above the price right i don't want you guys to be confused with the colors that i'm using because usually people use green for support red for resistance the color doesn't matter what you have to know is that when price is below a line then this line is gonna be a resistance or when price approach it from below and when price is above a line then this line is going to be support when price approaches it from above right that's all you need to know don't worry about the colors green red doesn't matter i use red for my weekly levels for both the support and the resistance doesn't matter if it's support and resistance again all you care about is where is price in relation to the level right in this case price is above it so this is going to be a support and in this case right here this is a resistance because price is below it now i already gave you the hint you guys tell me which candlestick is the one we care most about and i hope you got this because it's simple this is the candlestick that we care about why well 
for the same reason like the previous one this candlestick shows that the sellers got trapped at a very important support level horizontal support right this is a weekly support and we know that there will be plenty of buyers right here and what happened during this candlestick guys you should be already able to identify the story by yourself the candlestick open the sellers push the price all the way down they thought they are strong they thought they are breaking below this support but then the buyers step in and they say uh uh no 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 guys this was a trap you guys are gonna get roasted now and that's exactly what it's about to happen and by the way this is not on one candle we have a couple of candles you see this candle doesn't matter that it's green it's the same thing right it started right here the sellers push the price they try one more time to push the price below they got rejected and more people got trapped more sellers got trapped here so that's exactly what you are looking for in order to make money you are looking for this point where everything is is very clear right here it's clear that the sellers are trapped the buyers are much stronger so you know that the price will continue to go up so all you have to do here is to place a trade it's as simple as that when you see this type of candles when you see this type of scenario you just buy you place your stop loss below the wick right here and for a take profit target you can target a resistance right in this case we can use this resistance this is the dynamic resistance the 200 simple moving average dynamic resistance is moving so unless your trade hits your take profit very very fast you will have to adjust your take profit if you are using dynamic resistance because with the time this moving average will go down right so that's something important for you guys to understand but in the other lessons about moving averages i will explain you all of that so here is what happened price went sideways for a while actually it got two more times to this support right here and we got a similar scenario where you could have even added to your position right and then as i already explained you guys with this moving dynamic resistances right with this moving averages there they're moving all the time so you have to adjust your take profit and in this case you are going to adjust it and that's exactly where the take profit got hit so you made money again now my question to you is what are you going to do next are you going to look for more trades you guys look at the chart right now and tell me if you're gonna look for more trades or you're already satisfied with the money you made well since you already know how easy it is I bet that you want to take more trades and make some additional money so I want you guys to look right here and tell me what do you see and what are you gonna do right are there some candlesticks that we are interested in here guys yes or no of course there are this is actually the opposite scenario of what we did right here this is a resistance as you guys already know this is dynamic resistance and you know that there will be sellers right here so look at the candlesticks and tell me what you see guys i see money bobby i see money that's exactly what i see as well i see money on the ground on the floor that i just have to pick up right that's exactly how it works so here you have two candles that you are very interested in right these two candles shows you that the sellers put the price up on one occasion they got rejected they got trapped right they try again one more time they even got a little bit higher but they got trapped one more time so what you're gonna do here guys that's exactly what you're gonna do you you're gonna enter a short trade in order to capitalize on the move down that is about to happen because you identify that the buy the sellers excuse me are stronger here so they're gonna push the price down so you enter short right here you place your stop loss above this level and as a take profit target you target the next resistance in this case which you can also call support i don't want to use you but in this case since the price is going down this is gonna be a resistance right which we called support in the previous example this weekly level right here a horizontal level so that's what you're gonna target in order to exit your trade because you know that there will be buyers who will step in again here so let's see what happened well easy peasy lemon squeezy money again in your pocket now guys i want you to look again at the chart and tell me is this all over are we done making money or you see another great opportunity to make some additional money you look at these guys and tell me what you see well i see more money on the floor i don't know about you i hope you saw this too that's exactly the scenario that we are looking for once again we have the support here we know that there will be plenty of buyers we see that the sellers got trapped because we understand what the candlesticks tells us so what we're gonna do well guess what we're gonna enter another trade right here long trade we're gonna buy we're gonna place our stop loss below this low and as a take profit target we're gonna target this dynamic resistance but you have to know that unless your take profit get hit you will have to adjust your take profit because as you guys already know this dynamic resistance is moving so let's see what happened well this is exactly what happened our take profit got hit right here shortly after we entered the trade and we made money again 